cryptocurrency for beginners. Are you one of those guys who hear a lot about cryptocurrencies but can't relate to them? Or have you ever wanted to know what cryptocurrency is? Many people have no idea what cryptocurrencies are and how they work. Today, I will answer some of your questions about the history of cryptocurrency, including what crypto is, where it came from, and why it's gaining popularity. We'll talk about how cryptocurrency works, its theories, its pros and cons, and different types of cryptocurrencies that exist today, how they work, and why they were created. I want to just dive into it and walk you through it step by step from understanding what cryptocurrency is. Hello, we are Altcoin Capital and this will be your ultimate beginner's guide to cryptocurrency. Before we start the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you will be updated when a new video comes out. Now, let's go find out what cryptocurrency is, shall we? What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital currency. It's called crypto because it uses cryptography to secure transactions by preventing people from altering and stealing the information involved in them. This encryption keeps the system anonymous. This is one of crypto's most significant selling points. Cryptocurrency has no physical form, so it is not printed like paper money or minted like metal coins. It is not backed by any government or bank, but is instead supported by its users. Cryptocurrency isn't controlled by any single entity or company. Instead, it's a decentralized system that relies on individual computers to carry out its functions. Those computers manage and verify every transaction, decoding the information and updating the public ledger where all cryptocurrency records are stored. This is called blockchain technology. Blockchain technology is one of those concepts that sounds complicated but is actually very simple. Really, all it means is that a bunch of information is linked together in a chain and it's what makes cryptocurrency so secure and anonymous. The idea of cryptocurrency was first introduced in 1998 by Wei Dai on the Cypherpunks mailing list. His idea was to create a form of money independent of any central authority and transferable electronically with low transaction fees. In 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto released a paper describing the use of peer-to-peer -peer network as a solution to the problem of double spending. This resulted in the launch of Bitcoin, the first cryptographic currency. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that has gained popularity in the recent years. It allows people to send money across borders without government interference, and many people like that aspect of the currency. Bitcoins were first used to buy pizza on 12th of January 2009, when they were traded between the founder of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, and developer, Hal Finney. However, it was not until February 2010 that Bitcoins became valuable when a Florida programmer named Laszlo Hanyex agreed to take 10,000 Bitcoins to have someone from Papa John's deliver him two pizzas. At that time, those Bitcoins would be worth millions of dollars. Within the month of February 2015, an insane amount of over 100,000 merchants and vendors accepted Bitcoin as payment. Research produced by Cambridge University estimated in 2017 that there were 2.9 to 5.8 million unique users using a cryptocurrency wallet, most of them using Bitcoin. Bitcoin's popularity has been on the rise since its inception, but it wasn't until 2017 that Bitcoin became a household name. Before then, most people have never heard of it. Then, in 2017, Bitcoin saw unprecedented growth. In just a few months, its value doubled from $1,000 to $2,000 before doubling again to $4,000. It was clear that there was something big happening and everyone wanted a piece of the action. With the rise in Bitcoin's price came a surge in media coverage. That's when Coinbase came along. Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange that makes buying and selling cryptocurrencies incredibly easy. 
even if you have no experience with technology or trading in general. It's simple enough that anyone can use it, no matter their age or background, which made all the difference in bringing cryptocurrencies into mainstream culture and making them accessible to everyone who wants to invest or trade them. Suddenly, news stories were everywhere about cryptocurrency and people were listening. They wanted to know more about this new type of currency and where they could get some for themselves. Today, more than 1,600 different cryptocurrencies are available, with new ones being launched every day. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrencies are a rage now. Many people claim that they have become wealthy by investing in cryptocurrencies, and the number is growing with each passing day. What are the advantages of cryptocurrency? The user autonomy. Cryptocurrency can be traded directly between buyer and user, and unlike regular currency, there are no government regulations or extra charges from intermediaries. Cryptocurrency's price is entirely user regulated, so it's up to the owners to decide whether to sell or buy more. The discretion. Discretion has its benefits. You can make transactions without revealing your identity. This protects you from hackers and cyber criminals who might use your personal information to blackmail or victimize you. But discretion also has its drawbacks. While you may choose not to reveal personal details to friends, family members, business colleagues, etc., there are times when they need to know these details to make more informed decisions on your behalf. No banking fee. In today's world, banking has become a necessity. This is not a new thing to be considered. We've depended on banks since the beginning of human civilization. The concept of banking came into existence when people started keeping their stuff in the temple treasury. And later, the idea was enhanced with the evolution of time and technology. It was not long ago that transactions were made only in cash. But now we have different modes of payment that can also be used to send money across the globe. We can use credit cards, debit cards, or even net banking to transfer money from one place to another without having any physical presence anywhere near where the receiver is located. However, all these methods are still based on centralized systems, vulnerable to hacking attacks and other malicious activities such as phishing scams. So there needs to be an alternative solution that does not require any kind of third-party involvement but still ensures complete security for both parties involved in the transaction process. With cryptocurrency, you can use it to make payments without worrying about hackers because there will always be someone watching over your transactions. This is one way how blockchain technology works. It keeps track of every single Bitcoin transaction so that no one else can access them. Easy accessibility. With cryptocurrency, you don't have to carry around the extra weight in your wallet or backpack. And you don't have to worry about losing your wallet. Instead, all of your transactions are done through your smartphone. And while you might be thinking it's a great way to get pickpocketed, we can assure you that's not the case. After all, most people keep their phones on them at all times. And few people risk leaving their wallets lying around in public places where they could be quickly snatched up by someone passing by. But what about if someone steals your phone? You have less money sitting around on your phone than you would be carrying cash with you wherever you go. But there are also ways to deactivate the phone remotely and even erase it altogether if it is stolen. So. While we certainly advise everyone to keep their smartphones safe and secured just as they would any other personal item, we believe that using cryptocurrency is a safer option overall than using paper currency or credit cards. Low Transaction Cost Cryptocurrencies cost a lot less to use than domestic wire transfers or international money transfers. For example, you'll pay a lot less in fees if you send $500 in cryptocurrency via blockchain instead of wiring it domestically or internationally. Track your money. Most transactions occur on the blockchain, like a ledger or spreadsheet publicly distributed to anyone with access to it. Some tools allow you to look up information about the transactions, including who sent 
what cryptocurrency, where, and when. You can also see how much cryptocurrency is stored in a particular wallet. Diversification Cryptocurrency might make for a better investment than stocks if you're specifically looking for diversification. One clear thing is that, even with limited historic data on crypto and stocks, the two do not always move together. That is to say, if your stock portfolio takes a nosedive, there's no guarantee your crypto won't soar. Remember that, in either event, it could just as easily double. And remember that crypto is still primarily untested and too volatile for most long-term investment strategies. But if you like the volatility, feel free to add it to your portfolio. After all, there's no law against diversifying with low correlation assets. Protected from inflation In the financial sense of the word, inflation refers to an increase in prices over time which subsequently leads to a decline in the purchasing power of money. If you're worried about inflation, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin can protect you. Unlike the dollar and other government-backed currencies, Bitcoin has a hard cap on the total number of Bitcoins that will ever be minted. As governments print more money to fund bailouts and stimulus packages, your savings will grow in value. What is the disadvantage of cryptocurrency? Cybersecurity issues Cryptocurrency is digital money that risks being stolen by hackers or zero in value. Many people invested in cryptocurrency had suffered huge losses when their accounts were hacked and their money was stolen. This has led some people to question whether anyone should invest in cryptocurrency. If we compare cryptocurrency investing to the stock market, Cryptocurrency does not have any inheritance value or guarantee of any interest payments. There is no information available about how the prices are determined. People are only buying because it's trendy. Scalability Because it is the most popular cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is in such huge demand that nearly 20 million of its 21 million total supply have already been sold. The price has skyrocketed because of increasing demand and a limited supply, making it very difficult for the average person to purchase even a small amount. Individuals cannot rely on more minor well-known cryptocurrencies if they never know when they'll suddenly collapse. The poor technology of some countries makes it hard to buy and sell Bitcoin. Mining This is not your typical gold, silver, and other minerals that are excavated using machines and manpower. Mining is a lot like playing a video game. You're trying to earn coins by traversing levels and using your skills to solve problems. Except instead of earning points, you make cryptocurrency. The process of mining and the resulting benefits have always been questionable. The profits are not always guaranteed. The technical skills required for mining are also exceptionally high. In addition, there is a need for more technological advancements to support mining practices. All these factors can affect the profitability of mining crypto coins. Mining cryptocurrency has been called many things, but one of the most frequent criticisms is that it consumes a lot of energy and hardware expenses can add up. Nobody knows what the price of a Bitcoin will be from one minute to the next. As a result, cryptocurrency has been described as not a rational investment. Now, let's talk about the different types of crypto market. First, Bitcoin. As I said earlier, Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency and by 2009, a mysterious programmer named Satoshi Nakamoto released it. Since then, it has been used as a payment system for anyone who wants to make a transaction without third-party interference and without the need to store money in a bank. Any transactions made using Bitcoin are stored in a public ledger called the blockchain. The blockchain is verified every time someone uses Bitcoin. And when this happens, the transaction record is added to the blockchain. Second, the Ethereum. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency globally, but what really sets it apart from Bitcoin is its blockchain technology, which is open source 
and allows developers to build decentralized applications that operate on the network, instead of relying on a central authority to verify transactions and maintain records, Ethereum uses blockchain technology as a public ledger for all its users. Third, the Cardano. Cardano is a decentralized, open-source cryptocurrency founded in September 2017 by Charles Hoskinson, who was previously involved in the development of Ethereum. The project is an ongoing collaboration between the Cardano Foundation, a nonprofit entity based in Switzerland, Emurgo, a Japanese investment group, and IOHK, a blockchain research and development company headquartered in Hong Kong. Cardano aims to develop an innovative contract platform that is secure enough to run financial applications. It is meant to address issues with existing cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, which has primarily functioned as a store of value rather than a means of exchange. Cardano also seeks to improve upon Ethereum by using more advanced cryptography and making specific changes to its underlying protocol. Fourth, the Litecoin. Litecoin is a cryptocurrency that's like Bitcoin, except it's light. It's not as heavy, and it's easier to swallow. Litecoin was created in 2011 by Charles Lee as an offshoot of Bitcoin and as an attempt to improve upon some of the shortcomings of Bitcoin. It uses a different hashing algorithm than Bitcoin and can process more transactions per second. Its faster block generation rate allows more contributors to be compensated for participating in the network. Fifth, the Solana. Solana can process more than 65,000 transactions per second. This is orders of magnitude faster than even the most advanced blockchains available today, like Ethereum and Bitcoin. This means that users will be able to send each other money instantly or use it to buy things online without waiting minutes or even hours for their transaction to go through. Sixth, the Ripple. Ripple is a cryptocurrency that makes you feel like it's the 1990s again, but with more technology. Ripple is a cryptocurrency that is aimed at real-time global payments. It has been referred to as Bitcoin 2.0 and seeks to solve the problems of speed and scalability that plague the Bitcoin blockchain. And that's all you guys. I hope this video made you understand cryptocurrency. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any more questions about cryptocurrency, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. Again, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click the notification bell below, and subscribe to stay updated on the new video. Until next time, see ya!